Hello, and thank you for watching The Righteous Kitchen, a cooking and baking blog found at www.therighteouskitchen.blogspot.com. Today I am going to show you how to put together a crudité platter for your holiday get-togethers. All right, it's going to be just a simple a platter with everyday pantry ingredients. It's not going to be really fancy. Uh, my family is just a ordinary, everyday, not too fancy family. So we're going to start here. Um, this recipe uses my aunt's party dip, and I just call that Patsy's party dip. Um, I have been eating this dip since I was a child. And it's very delicious. It's just um, a staple. So I'm going to use, I have a container here of 16 ounces of cottage cheese. I'm going to use half of that. So that's going to be 8 ounces of cottage cheese. And I'm just going to put it into a bowl. And then the same thing with sour cream going to be eight ounces of sour cream or just half a container it just makes it really easy and then I'm gonna put in some mayo and I'm just gonna say two big dollops of that. So that's going in. And then one package of Laura Scudder's green onion dip mix. That's the only brand I really care to use. So that's going in. And we just stir it. That's it. So just combine all your ingredients. Give it a good stir. And then this will need to refrigerate at least a half an hour before you serve it. So we usually use this as a dip for chips, but every holiday I make this as part of my crudité platter, uh, which is gonna include vegetables, cheese, and crackers. So I'm going to take this to the refrigerator and then I'll get started on the rest of the platter. Okay, I am back. I have had Patsy's Party Dip chilling in the fridge and it's ready to go. But I want to show this video how I just assemble a simple crudité platter that I serve for the holidays. So what I've done here is I use just everyday ingredients, nothing fancy. I have some black olives, I've drained them and then they're drying a little bit on a paper towel, as well as some um, pickles and some green olives. And then I've chopped up some cheese and I always have carrots and celery because that's the part that they're gonna be dipping um, into this dressing. So we'll go over real quick how you, um, chop the vegetables for that. So I just take a piece of celery and decide um, a nice size that I want it to be. And this becomes the template. So you just lay that out on your board. And then the celery, um, to cut it in st uh, strips so that you don't cut your fingers or it gets crazy and you come up with an uh, uneven cut, what you want to do is just start at the top and then sink your knife into it. And now I've got this uh, cut right down the middle and then pull back your knife. And look how easy that was to cut it. So what I'll do at the bottom is that little flare, I'll just take it off. And then I've got my, my template here with my celery stick. So I'm just going to make my cuts. And it's as simple as that. These shorter pieces, um, you, we have a bunny in the family, so we're gonna take the ones that are shorter and give those to the bunny. So everybody wins 
in this uh, this video. Now the carrots, I've got my template, I've got my carrot peeled, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sink that uh, knife into the tip. I'm going to hold it steady on either side and just bring it straight down. Now I've got that cut in half. And then we're going to put it on the flat side so that it doesn't walk around. And I'm just going to give it one, two chops. And then just keep going. One, two. So it's nice and firm on the board. And you don't have to worry about chopping off your finger. And there you have it. I do a little bit more carrots. They seem to enjoy those. And now here's a small one. Just take your time. Take the larger piece. Sink your knife in. And then you could just bring it straight down. All right. I think that's enough carrots. And we're going to go ahead and arrange this platter. So, what I like to do is in the middle, I go ahead and put this wonderful dip. And you don't have to put all the dip out at one time. If you put a little bit at a time, um, when you go to fill that, they're going to have nice, fresh, cool dip. So then I take, I kind of find like, two areas um, opposing sides of this platter and then I'll put my carrots and then I do the same thing with the celery I just do two areas of the celery And you can get fancy with your ingredients. I don't. Um, truthfully, for my family, olives are fancy. So, you know, it, why put it on there if they're not going to eat it? And then we have, so here we go. We have the olives. And since we have a lot of olives, I just put those on either side. And then, um, we have, what do we have here? We have some green olives. So I'll put those down. Again, we could do either side. And then we have some sweet pickles. So I'm just going to tuck these in somewhere. I think right next to these green olives is a nice little spot. So I put it on one side here and then I'll come around the opposing side and put the uh, sweet pickles. So that makes it nice. And then we still have the, well we've got more green olives. We'll go ahead and finish this up. And then we have this cheese um, that we need to put on here too. So you could with the cheese, let's see, I'll tuck it in here next to these olives. So I'm going to go down one side here and then the other side. I'm just repeating on one side and then I go across the platter. So you can see how this is starting to fill up and it looks nice, it looks inviting and it's just everyday simple ingredients that my family will eat and this is nice to have so that they're not um, starving and asking when is dinner going to be ready. All right. And then lastly, I, um, I do have a family member that likes 
um, jalapenos. But not everybody likes jalapenos. And I don't want to get the rest of the platter um, hot. So I could just tuck these in a little container by themselves. And you could just, uh, you know, tuck it into the platter or just serve it next to the platter. So I'll just put it right here. Tuck it in the platter like that. So there you have it. A nice uh, crudite platter that's fitting for your family holidays using my Aunt Patsy's uh, party dip. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.